video. As you may know, if you watched my video earlier, I was traveling for a few hours and now I've arrived at another city. I'm actually quite high up right now on the 38th floor. Nice view of the city from up here. It's nice being up here while there's a storm out there. Feel safe. Close the door for now so you can hear me clearly on this message. I do have a very important message to share with you tonight. And it's about because it's not all over for you after that. You know, after everything you've been through with them, you've been abused, you've been manipulated, you've been traumatized, you've experienced all of these things. And the sad truth is that there is a lot of predators in this world. There's a lot of people who are seeking to exploit those who are vulnerable. Those who have just left a narcissistic relationship. Because yes, they can sniff you out. They can recognize it. They know that you have been through something. And I wish this was not the case. I wish this wasn't true, but this is the reality of the world today. A lot of people in this world are very exploitative. Just left a narcissistic relationship. And of course, that is one of the main reasons why I make these videos. It's not just for those of you who are dealing with narcissists right now in a relationship. It's also that, so that you can better equip yourself when you finally leave the narcissist. Because yes, there will be a lot of these predators out there, these exploitative people who will be seeking to harm you. So yes, it is very important to recognize this when you're going out into the world. And this video is especially for my younger viewers. Because myself, I am 34 years old now. I know I do have quite a lot of younger viewers on here as well those of you who are in your 20s, you need to be aware when you are going out into this world. You may have just had a narcissistic parent, maybe one narcissistic relationship. And then you've gone through that. Maybe you managed to leave the relationship safely. And now you think it's all over. You think you can just move on with your life. And I wish it was that simple. But there are a lot of these predators out there. They're not seeking to build with you or to protect you. No, they're seeking to exploit and harm you. Which is why it is very important that you are aware of this. Because I wish a good future for all of you where you are safe and protected from danger and harm. That is for you. 
And yes, I know this from my own experience. I've talked about it in my video how when I was younger, in my late teens, early 20s, maybe it was quite foolish of me as well. But those of you who don't know, I came from quite a wealthy family. I was raised in a five bedroom mansion with five bathrooms and four floors. This is a multi-million pound home. And my father, he had all of these nice cars, brand new Mercedes. And I myself, as I said, I was in my late teens, in the best shape of my life. And all of these things, of course, that makes it a very rare situation. Of course, there aren't many people in this world at that age who are sitting in and driving these cars, these brand new Mercedes and Aston Martins and living in a five bedroom, multi-million pound mansion in Wales, in the, in the United Kingdom. Myself as well, I was posting these pictures of myself, shirtless, my body, and taking pictures of my dad's house and his cars, putting them on Facebook. And before you know it, I amounted 5,000 friends on Facebook over 10 followers in such a short space of time as well. And then before you know it, it was like pretty much everyone in my city suddenly turned against me. Wherever I went, people were coming after me. They would show up in the shisha clubs and the nightclubs, wherever I went. They even made a Twitter page still on Google and I had hundreds of followers all making fun of me and even pictures I was seeing back then and this is all because maybe I wanted to be cool so I took these pictures I put them on Facebook which was meant to mock me, where they were stalking me in person as well. And that Twitter page is still online now. And why am I saying this? I guess I'm just hoping that I had to go through this experience for a reason. So that I can protect you. Because I know those of you, especially my younger viewers, those of you who are teenagers or in your early 20s, maybe you just have a desire to fit in. Maybe you want to make new friends and you think that's the way to be cool. Taking pictures of your parents' cars or even revealing pictures of yourself, maybe wearing designer clothes. But to be honest, when you do these things, it's just going to make a lot of people despise you. And the reason why is because a lot of people, maybe they can't afford these cars or these clothes, or maybe they're just not as physically gifted as you are. They're not as attractive. Enough. And they will see it as though it's your fault for showing that to them. Even though, yes, they may have willingly chosen to look at that themselves. You is to lay low. 
do not try to become the world and it's not that I don't want you to become famous or to be trending I'm just saying this to protect you from harm because as you may know from my past videos as I've mentioned before as well it will put you at risk You're not going to have many friends at all everyone will turn against you everyone will despise you to your level even those who may be a higher level than you. Because they may look like you're having a great time and they may just not be able to find the same fulfillment as you do. So, if you have a desire to make friends, the best thing you can do is just try to be normal, to just be like everyone else. Try not to drive around in flashy cars or wear expensive designer clothes. Try not to post revealing pictures of your body. That's really what I advise for you to do. I mean, for myself, when I look back, I mean, I, I can't really say that I was looking to make friends. I guess I did have that mindset that I'm not successful if I don't have a ton of haters. Wanted. But really, what, what it was about for me is to motivate and inspire people. I mean, that's what it's always been about. But to motivate and inspire those who are on the same level or heading in the same direction, or at the very least, those who are on the same frequency. Those who can appreciate another person's success because of course I myself in my past, yes, I have seen people who are far superior to me in physical attractiveness, in wealth, in everything. I mean, I remember when I was in my early twenties, I lived on a street of six homes and we had three Premier League football managers living on that same street. We even had a 22 year old footballer who was making millions of pounds a, a year with a brand new Bentley Continental GT brand new Mercedes C63 AMG but the difference it wasn't really something that I envied so I guess that for me yes it was very difficult for me to understand when people started to turn against me it was very difficult for me to relate because I never really had that experience before. And that's why it really woke me up. It was such an epiphany for me when five years ago, I stumbled on what narcissism is. And then it all started to make sense. And I started to watch these videos on YouTube every day. I did tons of research on it. 
And then I knew that I had to educate people about this. Because clearly this is a problem in society today. I'm not happy. I've seen a statistic that says 96% of families in this world are dysfunctional. And as well as that, I believe it's up to 15% of the population in this world may have the full-blown narcissistic personality disorder. That's 15%. I believe Dr. Ramani said it could be over 50% that engage in narcissistic behavior. And on top of that, of course, of course, there's all of the other cluster B disorders, the sociopathy, psychopathy, borderline, and then there's many other mental illnesses and puts into consideration. You have to think, do you really want to put yourself out there into this world for everyone to see? I mean, when you leave the narcissist or even a narcissistic parent, you may be, and maybe you just want to prove to yourself and the world that you can be something. But by doing that, it will make a lot of people envy and hate you. Because of what I've just mentioned, the, the statistics, a lot of, there are so many reports especially of young teenage girls that have been bullied online and driven to suicide. These things happen all of the time, every day. People are bullied to the point where they kill themselves just because they're special or they're different, just because they stand out, they don't fit in. So yes, of course, these are things to be aware of. And what I advise for you in fact, very few you will have very few genuine friends. There are a lot of people who will pose as being a real friend to you. But then when you actually need them, they're not even there. They're not even there to support you. So yes, clearly I have been through a lot of bullying and harassment, stalking, smear campaigns and even gang stalking, I, as I have mentioned in my past videos. And yes, of course, I recognize that it is harmful and unfair to me. But I do hope that my experience can help you. I mean, if that's what it can do at the very least, even if I help one person, I prevent them from becoming a target. I prevent them from committing suicide and that's good. Then it was worth it. It really is. Some of the most common illnesses in this world are in fact mental conditions such as anxiety, depression. These are extremely common. So by knowing this, 
by being aware you should avoid rubbing people the wrong way. Especially with all of these narcissistic people out there. As you know, it doesn't take much to set them off. They will turn against you. They will team up against you. And you do need to be very careful of that. So that's really what this is about. When you leave the narcissist, don't think that it is all over. It's just the beginning. Because you still live in a world that is full of dysfunctional people. Potentially it's meant to be 96% of families that are dysfunctional. And then just think about the other 4%. Does that mean that they are functional? Or are they just the ones who are recovering? And that should tell you everything you need to know. But that's not to criticize anyone who is watching this right now and trying to be better. Of course, I'm not perfect myself. I have flaws just like anyone else. I'm still learning every day. We all make mistakes. But the most important thing is that we are trying to be better. Instead of just blaming someone else, which of course is what narcissists do, they will blame you. The important thing is that we are taking responsibility and then trying to improve ourselves. Because these narcissists are everywhere. I mean, you've only got to look at the YouTube comments, look on any social media website. There's always all of these trolls. You could just click on one TikTok video maybe a post on Facebook and you might see tens of thousands of comments from these trolls saying all of these degrading things about someone, maybe telling them to kill themselves. This is happening. Which is why I knew I just had to get on here. Because yes, I am someone who has experienced it themselves. I have experienced a lifetime of bullying and group stalking. I am no stranger to that. And of course, I've also been on the other end of it where I have notice groups of people targeting someone and of course in every situation where i witnessed that i was the only one who decided to step in and to break it up because i know that is my duty that is my purpose in life that that is what i'm here to do and i want to do that for you by giving you this information, my experience, everything that I've been through in my life. And this is not something where maybe you have a bully, you have a stalker, you have a narcissist who is constantly on your case. You can't just give them this information 
You can't show them these videos. That is not going to work. It's not going to fix what is going on in their brains. Remember, they have a mental disorder. That's not something that's going to change. Just because you reveal to them their behaviors, their motives, their intentions. They're still going to keep doing what they do. Because they have to regulate their emotions. They can't generate their own happiness and energy from within. They have a void. And they can never be satisfied. So they... And I know this may be something that a lot of you are already aware of. You may be watching this and thinking, yes, I've experienced this as well most of my life. I've seen what people are like. I already know. And yes, while I do understand that, as I said, this is most importantly for my younger viewers in particular. Those who are in their teens, their early 20s. Because you may be unaware of this. And you're going out into the world thinking that, yes, we have authorities we have police officers, when in fact, they can turn against you as well. They turned against me on several occasions, where I tried to report certain incidents, where I was being bullied or intimidated, or in some situations even physically attacked. And as I mentioned, the Twitter page, this is back from 12 years ago. And back then, I reported it to the authorities. They didn't do anything about it. They did nothing about the stalking. When the entire city turned against me. So don't rely on the authorities. Don't rely on the police don't rely on the courts this world is not as safe as you think it is especially if you are unique you're special you're different you're gifted you're talented in some way you come from a wealthy family all of these things will make you a target So you do need to be cautious. You do need to protect yourself. At some level, you do need to isolate. You do need to cut yourself off from large groups of people and just have a small social circle. People who you can confide in, people who you can trust, people who you know they're not going to be envious of you. They appreciate your success. These are the types of people that you need to surround yourself with. But also by being aware that a lot of people in this world will pose as being that as well. When in reality, they're also against you. So yes, my advice is to be very careful. Be careful about what you broadcast. Be careful about what you show. People will use it against you if they see an opportunity to do that. Everyone is not your friend.
But of course, myself, I mean, you should know by now, I've been doing these videos for over five years, conducting coaching sessions with psychologists, psychotherapists, lawyers, and even some celebrities. I do put myself on here as someone that you most definitely can trust. And I am available on my one-on-one -on -one coaching session service. You can book a session with me. Just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. And I will be happy to assist you with whatever you're going through. Because as I, as I said, yes, I have been through it myself. I've experienced pretty much every form of abuse, all different types of manipulation, gaslighting. And I'd like to think that yes, this is the reason why I experienced all of that so that I could provide this information to you especially those of you you're at the beginning of your life just like I was and maybe you're not so suspicious of the world you think it's safe you think people will accept you, they will appreciate you. Well, I'm here to show from my personal experience and also from my research, from all of the things that I've seen on social media, all of the comments, all of the trolls. Yes, you do need to be very careful. Be very careful about what you broadcast. Be very careful about who you confide in. Everyone is not your fan and everyone is not your friend. So yes, that's really it, that's the message. And as you probably know, as you've probably seen, yes, I do. Maybe a little bit late in my life, but at this point, yes, I do tend to cut myself off from the world as much as I can. I rent cars. I move around as often as I can from country to country. I spend my Because yes, I know that I'm not for everyone. I'm for people who can understand me, people who can appreciate me, people who can recognize my journey and know that, no, I'm not perfect. I have made a lot of mistakes in my own life as well, and I can take responsibility for that. Those are the types of people that I am for. And by the looks of things, although yes, there may be a lot of narcissistic people and those who are mentally ill in this world, those who are dysfunctional, looking at the numbers on my channel, over 165,000 subscribers, over 40 million views, Yes, there are clearly a lot of victims as well. Statistics show that there are in fact over 140 million victims of narcissistic abuse in the US alone. So that should tell us everything that we need to know 
as I said, yes, these predators are out there everywhere. It's just not the world that it used to be. I remember the time back in the early 90s, you could leave your front door unlocked, even your car doors. You didn't have to worry about people coming in or stealing your stuff. Well, today, And I do believe that, in fact, yes, social media is partially to blame. People are looking at all this stuff and they feel in. And they want to go out and take it out on someone. They want to have someone to blame, someone to blame for where they find themselves in life. For where they find themselves in life. Yes, I'm not saying that the narcissist in your life was not to blame. But even us as well, we must take responsibility for when we find ourselves. We have to make the right decisions so that we can separate ourselves from them and so that we can heal. That is very important for us to do as well. We can't just blame other people for the rest of our of for the rest of our lives, once we've got no contact and we've moved on. So yes, all things to think about. I've just been driving all day. I was in the car for about eight hours driving. So I am actually quite tired, but I just felt like this is an important message for me to share with you tonight. And I'm sure that it will help a lot of you. I look forward to reading your comments as I always do. But yeah, that's really it. That's the message. Ray Justice, thank you for the donation. He asks, thank you. Are you always alone? I have actually been alone now for the last eight months. Other than Nala, of course, my cat. As you probably probably no but yes I, I was I mean I, I had other friends a very small circle of friends and I, I guess you could say a relationship as well go but other than that I have kept myself alone Of course, the reason why is because it is very difficult for me to trust. I mean, of course, I know that I have a lot of value. I provide value every day to millions of people around the world. And I know that this gift, this talent, it comes with a cost. Not everyone is going to be happy about it. I mean, these types of people, narcissists, they may not like us, they may not really want to be around us, but the truth is that yes, they do target empaths. They are drawn to us because of our empathy, our kind nature, our goodness. 
because we're so forgiving and trusting. We're just generally nice people. And so they know that they can get away with it. And that's really the most important thing. They know that by targeting empaths, they can get away with it. Especially those of us, we don't have a support system. And then they can control us. They can be our only source of influence. They can gaslight us. They can turn us against ourselves. Which ultimately that is their goal in the end. But yes, to answer your question, believe it or not, I do tend to keep to myself these days. It's not typically what I used to do when I was younger. And in fact, a lot of people have always been drawn to me from a very young age especially women. I've always just been naturally attractive to people. So I guess in a lot of ways you could say that yes, it is my own choice to be alone. And for those of you, I, I do advise keeping your circle small, as I said. It's no good having too many friends. I mean, if you have a lot of friends, it's likely that most of them, they're not really your real friends. They're not really there for you. Irani, yes, these narcissists just want to break you and make you feel worthless. That's right, that's exactly what they want to do because that's exactly how they feel. You cannot make another person feel a way that you don't already feel. It's a direct projection of how they feel about themselves. And it's not like they're going within themselves and they're using their pain to help other people. That's not what they're doing at all. They're using their pain to hurt people, to bring them down. But yes, I don't want to stay on you too long. And I really do hope that it's you. Yes, if you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful for you, you can thumbs up down below. As always, I do appreciate your support. And I look forward to talking with you in another video very soon.